Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor Pro plugin tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to put together this little portfolio. Portfolios are great, it's, a, it's an alternative way of displaying your blogs if you want to. When you roll over as you can see. And it's got the different categories, you can have all of them. Networking, promo, web design. Of course, when you click on one of these, it'll take you to the actual blog post itself. Obviously, you have to have some blog posts on your site to do this. I've got a bunch of posts here with various categories. So once you've got your post, it's really easy to do. So let's get started. Let's go and create a new page. I'm going to call mine port for, for portfolio. I'm going to go over here. This is quite important. If you want a page without a sidebar, I'm going to go to page attributes if it's closed up. I'm just on the document settings here in a regular WordPress. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to choose Elementor full width so we've got no sidebar on our page. Then I'm going to hit edit with Elementor. Elementor is a great plugin. There's a free version and a pro version. We've done many videos with the free version. We're actually working with the pro version today. And you can download both from my affiliate link below this video. So let's go down. Here's our portfolio. I'm simply going to click on it, left click, hold it, and drop it in the little box there. Right away, it's found six of my posts which is fine and as you can see it's got a nice color overlay there but let's make it our own first thing I want to do I'm going to actually edit the background section a little blue tab up here is for the section background here the little blue tab inside is to edit the actual module we're working on and the dark one up here is to change the number of columns you've got in your row if you need to well the first thing I want to do with this is I want to make this section full width stretch the full width of the screen so I'm going to click on the left click on the section it takes us straight to it we're on the layout tab I'm going to change that from boxed to full width next thing I want to do I want a bit of space top and bottom just so we can show off our portfolio once we've got it so I'm going to go over to advanced I'm going to go down to padding I'm going to uncheck the little chain because I don't want to do all four I just want to do um, the top and the bottom. So I'm going to put 100 on the top and 150 on the bottom. And there's, you can't really see what's going on there. I'll put a bit of colored background in. Let's go to style. And here's the background color. I'm going to put in, there's a color, a gradient, a video, or a slideshow if you wish. Slideshow can also be used just for a single image if you want an image background. I'm going to put a gradient in the background there. Let's make the top black and let's make the bottom blue or dark blue sort of color something like that but I'm going to make it a circular gradient rather than a linear so I've just closed that up type linear I'm going to make mine radial so it sort of radiates out the two colors that's fine that's what I want to do there now let's go back into our module our portfolio module here okay we're on the content tab I want six columns there we go and say I want a dozen posts I've got at least a dozen here I may have more let's put 18 in see if I've got that many I can't remember yeah I do actually have 18 so I'll leave it like that um, image size I'm gonna leave that just as it is you can have it masonry so it sort of skews a little bit like that but I'm I quite like mine as grid shaped, nice and symmetrical like that. Item ratio, I wouldn't change this if I were you because at the moment it's 666, but if you, or 66 I should say, if you change it, it's going to squish them all up. I mean, if that works for you, that's fine, but I'm going to leave mine at 66 there. Show title, that's on at the moment, so when we hover over, we can see the title of the blog post. Or whatever it is you've got in here 
filter bar don't need to query anything because everything is doing what what I want it to do here but filter bar I want it to show up the top here so we can flip between the different categories that we've got so I'm going to flip that on to show and you can't see anything at the moment because we haven't told it what to show now I've got loads of tags in there so I don't want to use tags but I, I've got two or three different categories so I'll, I'll just hit the categories and as you can see it now says all networking promo social media or web design not sure if it'll work while I'm in here yes it does so it selects each of those categories if I go over to my posts here you can see some of them have got a couple of categories some of them have just got one so it's flipping between the different categories that each post has there which is really handy really nice feature I've built a lot of bootstrap sites and had to do this manually which is fine but uh, it's a nice little feature so let's get on to the styling just going to go over to the style tab there uh, columns gap if you want to put gaps between your columns and your rows simply just slide this up to where you want it for me personally I quite like them tied up again against each other like that it works for me but you may want it a different way here's a different option for you but I'm going to take those back as they were border radius that's going to make the corners of the images curved I really don't want to do that if I had a gap in there I might decide to do that but with this it's working just fine now this overlay it's quite nice but I want to change the color of it perhaps to a more opaque dark blue or something so let's go down to item overlay background color we'll select blue what about sort of dark bluey purple that's okay but I want to see a bit of the image behind it so let's pull the opacity down a little bit so we can see some of the image behind it I usually find about a third does yeah that's absolutely fine you can see some of the image behind there but you can still clearly read the titles great so we're almost done here very easy to do I just want to style this up a little bit so let's close the item overlay up let's go down to our filter bar this is our filter bar color I'm going to make those white so they stand out really well like that active color that's the one you're actually on let's make that I think I made it green before yeah that's fine that stands out pretty well and it just highlights the actual category that you happen to be on looks like we've got no social media what about web design they're all web design okay fantastic that is pretty much it so let's just go down let's publish our page once publish, published let's have a look you need to click the have a look there if that is not there just hit the little eyeball right there and it'll do the same thing and there's our little portfolio let's make sure our categories work like I say social media no oh, there is a couple in there so there you have it and of course when we click on one of these it'll take us to the actual blog post there we go so I'm pretty pleased with that I think Elementor have done a fantastic job with this they really have and that's a really useful thing to have on your site so I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out once again this is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.